Hey, hello everyone. Um, so in this episode, we'll show another way of running and writing neural network um, using PyTorch um, using the network classes. And let me share my Google Drive. So what we have done before usually is that we use the sequential model of PyTorch and basically it's have the sequential and you write the layers sequentially here. This, is, this works when um, there's a fully connected network layer with a single path through, um, it works well. Um, but alternatively one can do if, for example, you have two headed networks um, getting out and, and more complex programs, then what you do is that you basically define a network class and there you define each layer, so how what each layer would look like. And then in the forward path, you basically um, show how each layers are being used. So you start from an X, you pass it through FC1 and that X, that X is passed through rally one, then get the X and then FC2. You see um, here in this case is sequential. So you could have done the earlier method, but you can see that um, you basically show which layers are being used when with what input. And then that shows you. So it's really a simple idea. I think in Keras, we had the functional API. So this is sort of like the functional API method in Keras equivalent. Okay. So, and here's an example um, that basically shows it. Um, so it, it uses um, three layers linear of from input dimension to 50, 50 to 25, 25 to output dimension. And um, the Ford here shows you how it's being used. The X goes to layer one to x and then layer two and then two layer three and comes out so this is how it's being done uh, we are using it for boston housing data <clears throat> pretty much everything looks the same so uh, you can just run it just so know that from for complex neural networks uh, this kind of method is being used right all right thank you for watching this episode um,